Hey, my name is Justin Giles. I am a junior biology major from Clarkston, Mississippi, here at Tupelo College. And this previous summer, I had the honor of doing research under the guidance of Dr. Stephen L. Bartney and his graduate student, Gerardo Bolleg, in the Department of Chemistry at Mississippi State University. First, I'd like to start with a few cancer statistics. In 2018, an estimated 1,735,350 new cases will be diagnosed in the U.S and 609,640 people will die from the disease. Approximately 38.4% of men and women will be diagnosed with cancer at some point in their lifetimes. In 2017, an estimated 15,270 children and adolescents from ages 0 to 19 were diagnosed with cancer, and 1,790 died from the disease. The menacing asteroid rate can be seen here. And the importance of the menacing asteroid is its high affinity for binding to G quadruplex structures. BCL2, or BCL lymphoma 2, has the ability of, bind, of forming these G quadruplex structures due to its grinding rich sequences. Here you can see four grinding bases, which is where the G and G quadruplex come from, standing for guanine, quad meaning four. Therefore, with these Four guanines bind together and stack on top of each other. They create this G quadruplex structure. BCL2 can be found at the end of telomere. The importance of telomere in cell death is that as cells replicate, telomere is cut shorter and shorter and eventually reach a length telling the cell to stop proliferating. The problem with cancer cells is that Telomerase in, in the, the problem with cancer cells, telomerase, an enzyme, acts upon telomere continuously, adding more nucleotides. Therefore, the telomere never reaches a short enough distance that tells the cell to stop proliferating, and the cell continuously replicates. The hopes of this research is that the drug DMZ, which is used for trypanosomiasis African sleeping sickness, can bind to the oncogene BCL2 found at the end of the telomere which will stop telomerase from acting upon the telomere and therefore stopping the overproliferation of cancer cells. My methods for this research include going through molecular dynamics, which include minimization, equilibration, and production using Amber 18. Second, I, I, I processed those output files. Third, I went through molecular docking using AutoDoc 4. Fourth, I repeated those molecular dynamics which is minimization, equilibration, and production processes. And finally, I visualize those structures using DMD, which is how I got these pictures here. Now, I will go over my results. This research focuses on three different strands of BCL2, BCL2353, BCL2362, and BCL2371. The numbers following BCL2 correspond to the bases in the loops of each G quadruplex structure. My results from molecular dynamic and visualizing those structures using BMD show that the menacing asteroid has binds to G quadruplex structures in three different ways. The menacing asteroid can bind to BCL2 through loop binding, binding in the loops of the G quadruplex, group binding, binding in the grooves, or end stacking stacking on top or on the bottom of the G quadruplex structure. The significance of loop binding is that each strand specifically has different amount of bases in each of the loop. If we can modify the menacing asteroid to bind to particularly a certain loop or a certain spot in the G quadruplex, then we can target, we can be more specific with cell targeting for cancer. In future studies, I would like to calculate binding energies of each ligand and receptor complex to see which binding mode is more energetically favored. I also would like to identify substituents that can be added to the menacing asteroid to increase its binding affinity to BCL2. I would like to acknowledge that this material is based upon work supported by the NSF, National Science Foundation, and I also would like to thank Dr. Todd and Dr. Deb Nielsen. Finally, I would like to thank Sigma Xi for allowing me to participate in this symposium. Thank you.